So this is one beautiful subwoofer, and I'm talking museum quality. I saw a video from John Hunter of REL uh, just recently where he said this was a museum quality piece, like a work of art. When I took this REL T9X special limited edition out of the box, I had to stop myself from drooling. It really is that beautiful in person. And this is a T9X that has been kind of redone a little bit, not only in the paint, but the driver has had some changes. The suspension inside has had some changes. And according to John Hunter from REL, there's a little bit more output and it might go a little bit deeper as well. What I can tell you is I've been listening to this sub. It was so easy to set up in my system took me 10 minutes, but I have set up subs before in here. I recently had the REL S510 subwoofers here. First I had one, then I had a pair. Those things are beasts, really meant for larger spaces. My room here is only 13 by 18 in size. It's what I consider a small to medium sized room. So again, setting it up was really easy. My reference system is now the Daniel Hertz Amber system, and it consists of the Amber speakers and Maria amp. The Amber speakers are full range. Daniel Hertz says these go down to 28 Hertz. And when I had them in the system without a sub, I kept saying, I don't need a sub. I am very happy with this bass. These speakers go low enough. Uh, and lo and behold, when the T9X arrived, um, I set it up not expecting too much out of this from this system, but once again, I was proven wrong. When I turned it on, I noticed all the benefits that a good subwoofer brings to the system. More dimensionality, a larger sound stage, a taller sound stage, a little bit more air. It pressurizes the room somewhat. And when this happens, you can almost feel like you're part of the performance. Uh, there's some tracks I was listening to, and uh, some of them, actually, I'll go over them a little bit right now for you. So you can check them out in your system to see how your bass is handling these bass-heavy tracks. Let's take a look at some tracks I use to evaluate this sub. So if you want to check out some really bass-heavy tracks to test your system, check out this track, 30 Hertz by Felsius. Never heard of this band. I just discovered the track the other day, but it can really show you what uh, your system is capable of when it comes to the bass. Another track to showcase the bass in your system is by Carolyn No. The track is Crystal Ball. This whole track just has low, deep bass. You won't hear it so much on systems that can't reproduce it, but if you have a sub in your system, check out this track crystal ball from carolyn no so when listening to these tracks i was blown away at the speed the quickness the depth at to which this sub plummets it uses a 300 watt per channel class a b amp i guess this is an amp that rel has used for many many years it's reliable it's powerful and it just works on the back panel you have everything you need to hook up the REL, including a low level input, a high level input, an LFE input, a crossover setting, and a volume setting for the sub and for the LFE input and the low level, high level input as well. The sub ships with REL's high level cable. It's like 30, 33 feet long, so you have plenty of space to work with. This is REL's preferred method of hooking up their subwoofers. It hooks up directly to your amp. Another way of hooking up is through a regular RCA cable. They sell sub cables meant for this, and you can go from the sub out of your device to the low level input on the REL. If you want to use this as a home theater sub, there's an LFE input as well. Though RELs and this T9X Limited uh, that I'm talking about today, they're really tuned to be really refined and supremely musical. They really blend in with your stereo system, your main speakers really, really well, and they act as an extension of your current speakers. When blended properly, you will not be able to tell there's a subwoofer in the system, meaning you won't hear noise coming from the box. 
You should hear the bass just fill the room and pressurize the room. You should hear the bass as it's coming out of your speakers, right? And that's what a really well-made subwoofer will do. And in my experience over the years, I've tried some lower cost subs. I've tried some higher end subs. I've tried subs from SVS, uh, Kef. Uh, I've also tried subs in the lower uh, range from Klipsch and a few other brands that I have found along through the years. And none, and I mean none of them, were as musical and just refined as the RELs were. Now the S510s, I love those subs, they are beasts. If you have a bigger room, a pair of S510s will blow your mind and really transform your system. But the little T9X, this limited T9X, can do the same thing uh, if you're in a smaller space. So my room, for example, without the sub, I'm getting plenty of information from the speakers. The bass goes really low, um, but it doesn't plummet to the depths, right? It doesn't give you that pressurized feeling like, ooh, there's some big bass coming from this track. It sounds good, it sounds pleasant. These are some of the best speakers I've ever had in life. But adding the T9X Limited Red Edition to this system, I heard the attack uh, deepen. I heard more depth to the music. There was seemingly more air and spatial information. A subwoofer can really, really transform the sound of your system, even if you're like me and didn't think you needed one. Now, when I had bass shy speakers, I knew I needed those S510s. I really could have got away with a T9X or even a couple of T7Xs, I'm sure, but I went overkill with the S510s and it was a crazy, amazing experience. I got a taste of what a higher end rel sounds like and feels like. Now, I expected the T9X uh, to be a little bit weaker, um, a little bit more sloppy, but none of that happened. There's no slop, there's no chuffing. This is not a one note subwoofer. This is a really, really well thought out sub that again, is its main purpose is really for bringing musical pleasure and filling in those gaps where you're missing the bass. Again, if you have bass light speakers, this is something that can bring a total transformation to your system. A lot of people might be unhappy with the bass in their system, so they go out and they look for a new set of speakers. I would say try something like the T9X first, put it in your system, and it's going to totally take those bass light speakers and transform them into what sounds like full range monsters. When I had the Focal Diablos in here, the pair of S510s made them sound like a grand utopia, like a flagship, almost, not quite, from Focal. So a sub can really transform the system. Now, as far as the T9X Limited, it is a limited edition. When they sell out, there's no more. I can tell you that the build, the fit, the finish, the attention to detail is extremely beautiful here. I could find not one flaw, not one fault of this T9X in that red uh, finish. Now, the red paint, according to Rel, costs 600 bucks a gallon. And you don't doubt that when you see this guy in the flesh. The beautiful 10 inch driver on the front, they now put a carbon fiber cone on it and this made it lighter, stiffer, and better overall. Um, so it's actually performing a little bit better than the standard T9X. Um, what else can I tell you? The feet are really well done in chrome. They have the little crown on them. There's a 10 inch driver on the bottom that also brings the music out, the bass, and it kind of spreads it through your entire room. This thing fills the room corner to corner, wall to wall with just beautiful, rich bass that my system did not have that I thought it did. Um, but when you listen to tracks, now not all tracks have this low bass information in it. I could listen to tracks that I listen to every day and they'll sound the same. I'm not trying to artificially add bass here with this subwoofer. I'm simply trying to blend it in so well that I will not notice it until those notes are in the recording and called upon. Without the sub, you either don't hear those notes or they're very light uh, and they fade out very quickly. With a subwoofer like the T9X Limited here, they don't fade out very quickly. You hear every bass note just as you hear every high note. And it's tight. Uh, it has snap, it has pop, it has punch, it has kick. 
No slop at all here. This is one of the finest subwoofers I've ever heard, and that's including the S510. But it all makes sense. I have a room that's really suited to the T9X, um, not really a pair of S510s. With the S510s, I had the volume at almost the lowest it could go, and it was filling this room with a perfectly blended bass. With this one, I think I'm at volume level five, and it's plenty for this space. So this is more powerful than you think it is. It'll work in larger rooms than mine. Um, but if you're in a room similar size to mine or not too much bigger than mine, the T9X Limited will really put a smile on your face. I, it did mine, and I have it set up. I tried setting it up in the corner, as Ralph suggests. It sounded really good, but my corner's kind of tight. So I put it in between my two front speakers and I was able to blend it just as well as it was in the corner. It sounds really, really good. And when, when some of those notes come in and you don't expect them, you kind of get thrown back in your chair like, whoa, and you get a jolt through your system. When I turn off the sub after listening to it for a couple of days, the music, my system still sounds beautiful, but I do miss those lower bass notes in certain music. And even if I'm listening to jazz, um, some of the bass notes are more defined. Uh, they're more easier to hear. You can get the feeling from them more with the sub in place. So this does fill in areas of music that you might not realize, and it makes the music fuller, bigger, grander, and in my case, much more beautiful. Um, the T9X Limited Edition is a one-of-a-kind sub. It's not gonna hang around for long. Now this sub, the T9X Limited, also has the capability to go wireless. You can buy the adapter from RHEL and you can hook it up to the sub and you can use it wirelessly. I don't have that here right now. So I'm using the high level input with the T9X Limited and it's working out beautifully with the Daniel Hertz Maria amp. Uh, everything is just cohesive and goes together beautifully. Uh, again, you can buy this sub or look up more information directly at the RHEL website. In the description below, I'll link to my full written review. I have a full written review at my website of this sub. I'll also link to John Hunter from RHEL's video where he's explaining the sub and what exactly they did to it versus the standard T9X. This is a powerhouse, this is a beautiful product, and it, in my opinion, at the price point of $1,650, I see it as sort of a bargain because it's unique, it has that special look about it, the design touches, and the performance improvements over the $1,500 standard T9X. So this is only like 150 bucks more, and you're getting more than that, I believe, in the upgrade. So, Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Thumbs up and subscribe. Your thumbs up helps to spread this video to the YouTube algorithm. Your comments help to spread this to the YouTube algorithm. Um, so feel free to uh, subscribe as well and turn on your notifications as I'm releasing new videos all the time. So lots more to come. Stay tuned and I will see you all in the next one. See you then.